yeah we've had the worst wind this year uh, so kind of a bummer sorry we're gonna get some wind noise from the video but I went ahead and cut these out here I got this oh, we're gonna go ahead and mark these off I'm gonna go ahead and cut these out with the plasma cutter and then we're gonna go ahead and weld in some sections so these patches will be all done today plus there's a couple random holes I'm gonna fill up here up here I don't know if I'll get that on video but these ones here I was like what the hell were those I'm gonna fill those up so we can get this thing here done uh, delivered to the customer later this week so he's got a bunch of uh, he's doing a bunch of flames and stuff um, unfortunately I deleted the footage for that we'll bring you back in a little bit later so hang around in the video and uh, we'll have some he's doing flames on the hood right now for this 52 Ford and he's also doing the uh, uh, he's got some fenders painted and stuff like that so a lot of stuff's going on we'll go take a look at that later when we go deliver this thing but um, I just took this home I'm gonna do the metal work on it bring it back so that you know he can get uh, more done he's doing a lot of it by himself you know his shop by himself mostly now so anyway Again, we're going to be using the Yes Welder uh, plasma cutter. If you didn't check recently, I just looked on their website, and, and I can't talk to you about the price because they change it constantly. But if you check recently right now, they have a really killer price on this thing right now. So um, I have used it a bit. Um, I do use it on 220. Almost all these plasma cutters, most of the other ones, they only work on 220. This one, I tried it on 110. It seemed to work pretty good on 110, but I'm not going to say it's a 110, you know. I would always recommend using these on 220. But, um, again, if you haven't seen the review on this, um, this has a pretty nice wand and gun compared to some of the other cheap ones. Uh, it, it did work on 110 when I used it. I tried it, and it worked pretty good. The problem with a lot of them on 110 is they'll pop a lot. You'll pull it, it'll, it'll push the trigger and it'll go pop 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 and it won't blow through the metal you'll find that and you always have to run them on 220 so keep that in mind the thing that's really a benefit to this one is it has this feature here which is the i don't know if it's on it's not on let me see plasma cutter needs to be on then uh, it has this feature here what that feature does is it helps you blow away stuff that's in your way so normally they have like a little electronic uh spark that goes on them when you turn it on and the spark is what ignites it this one has an auto ignite night system i don't know what they call it they have a name for it um autopilot or something like that and it uh it go ahead it gives you that little flame so you can burn through some stuff so when you have thick paint or something like that a lot of times i've had to grind it off or drill a hole for starting this one you don't I haven't had a need to do that yet so it's kind of cool that's a up big plus for this unit um, over the others that I've used that are inexpensive if you get a really expensive one a couple grand you know it's a totally different deal but this is not in that price range as part of the video we'll be demo this you can check it out and see how it works see me actually doing it in action and uh, see if you like it I'll put a link in the description to the website for it but yeah check that right away because they had a deal going on i don't know if it's just this weekend but it was really cheap i was like amazed another question if you guys were kind of watching that um the consumables are not expensive they do have them on their website i think you get like 24 of them for 30 well 30 bucks right now i don't know if that's going to change they also have generic ones on amazon then they weren't too expensive either just uh, that was one of the things i didn't know when i first started with it so anyway We'll move on, do some work.
And I don't feel no shame, it's a mood you lack I go crazy, nah bitch I ain't lazy Track after track, I work on the shit daily Pass me the jack, right as fuel got me hazy About to unpack all these shit I've been chasing I've got visions in my head Like memories after death To be a legend instead Of something you can forget I'm living up every breath I'd rather leave than be led I'll fill the seats as I spread With every word that I've said Yo, so we're looking at a couple pinholes in there, but we're just gonna roll with it. We're out of time, so let's get some filler out. Take care of business. Next, so we get this thing over to shop here, and I'm got it up on some stands so I can work on it better. It took two people to get it up here, so just giving a quick guide coat. And that's what we're working with right there. She's a rough one. I will get it straight. And I gotta straighten this out right here. Bottom edge. I'll do well I could use a polisher right now. I don't have one here, so just to sand this down. Give it the first shot. Get some more filler on it. I'll be updating you guys. I don't have my camera stand, so we'll just kind of look at the process as we go. All right. All right, laying on the filler. Got it all straightened pretty good. Probably have to put a couple of coats on here. This stuff doesn't go on really thick, so you know, I can't put on real thick coats of filler. So just real, real thin coats, and then probably two or three real thin coats, and it'll be looking good huh? look at that still wet this is dry right here though anyway we'll move on so last time you saw this there was just this side done now this is just all that's left here in the middle a couple little spots if you look here we already got those <laughs> you all went to get some to eat he got that already fixed a little low spot there and a couple over here 
and uh, finish out this side really coming out nice it's gonna be perfect when it's done pretty much looking Zeke's real particular and gets stuff really nice so it's gonna be cool neat looking truck take a look at the rest of it a little bit later can't do anything right now because the bondo dust got under the door we had to stop for a minute and fix that you know how it goes so we're moving along here got this one flat sanded this is just with a polisher 40 grit 36 grit i don't know what it is one of those two ag 47 on here get it smoothed out down here this stuff sands so fast even the with 40 grit the, i don't know this is the new version of it i don't know they say it's the same but it looks different and it spreads I don't know, but it sands even easier, so it seems like to me, but I don't know. They say it's the same stuff, but I don't, I don't believe them. I think it's better. It's the 1700, same part number, but who knows. So he's not stopping. I can't even get him to stop to do a video. So uh, <laughs> this guy's motivated. He wants to get this thing done. So yeah, we got this all skim coated here. We put one skim coat over. I have to do a second skim coat on this side. The other side, you could see it almost made it in one. It's really, I got it, I pounded it really straight before, so there's not much on here. It, it'll be in within spec, you know. That's all we need. That's all we need. Then the bottom, skim that out and finish that up. And then cut up the holes here we got fixed up. So anyway, we're going to keep moving. All right, so I just shot a quick light coat of black base coat over here just you can see that's going to be guide coat i'll go ahead and sand this with with the electric da let's see how that turns out and then we'll just then we just got some low spots and we'll do some touch up and get it closer to primer all right let's take a look at the guide coat how that works on a bondo on a filler see all the low spots now really easily we, you know, the thing that's nice about doing that with filler is you can you can do that over the filler, and then what happens is you use less primer to try and correct your mistakes. So this here, I just just take base coat, just really light coat of base coat over. It. You can see all this parts are low, so a nice thin coat of a glazing would be really handy. The USC Pro Glaze right now would over that but we're not going to get to that today so that's all you'd need for some of this little stuff here and here and there then the rest primer will fill real easily so. all right so you can see here so this is shows all the black where the low is on the filler let's do a little bit of touch up on there finish that out finish out this section here so that's all guide coated there and then up underneath here needs to be finished. And a couple of edges over here. This one here is looking pretty good. Got a little filler out of sand. The edges stuff around here, you can see that's all gonna get sanded out. That was, the other side's all done. And uh, the rest will fill with primer easily. And you're ready for paint. Right, so check this out, guys. Isn't that cool? It's a little dusty. It's already dry, but we were sanding outside. Well, after this dried, flashed off. So, if you can see here, I don't know if you can even notice that. There's a little pinstripe around the edge. You just did a little practice stripe on there. But here's the process of how this goes, okay? One of those booth fans are a little nut out. Hopefully they don't bother you in the video, but listen, uh, what he normally does is he clears the whole thing with the gloss. And then he's gonna tape off all these things all again, or, or buff it, sand it and buff it. And sand out all the the edges of the, of the flame so that they come down real flat. And then what he'll do is mask off all the flames, you know, all the, flames and then go ahead and put the matte clear on after that so then then after that when he's done with that 
Then he actually goes around and pinstripes it with this little color here. Kind of likes it look finished out, if you can notice how that is. It's going to be really neat. If you can imagine, this is going to be a matte clear that's on everything, except for the flames will be in gloss. So that's kind of how it's going. So anyway, that's that. Just got to let this dry so you can get back in that later. And He's working on the body work while this is going on. But anyway, that's it for this, guys. I think we'll just uh, end it here. But that's a cool-looking hood, isn't it? Um, and that's going to be a neat-looking project when it's all together. Unfortunately, we don't have the cab here, so we don't see what it's going to look like all together. But um, I know the guy who owns it, he's been watching. He thinks it's cool to see his truck get done and uh, on YouTube even. I'll talk to you in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe.